Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning, classmates. Here is my presentation entitled Hydrothermal Method, which is uh, all about synthesizing nanomaterials. Okay, so, you have the outline of uh, this presentation. We talk the definition of hydrothermal method as a hydrothermal synthesis process and the autoclave. Okay, so the hydrothermal method works in applying with chemical techniques for crystallizing the materials to a nanostructure. Okay, so one of the uh, important methods to synthesize different crystallization shapes and sizes is hydrothermal method. Uh, it is uh, one of the uh, most usually use methods for the preparation of nanoparticles. Hydrothermal, its origin in geological science. From the word hydrothermal, hydro means uh, water and thermal means heat. So this process is referred to as hydrothermal because it is, uh, in this method, water is used as the solvent. Okay, so it is uh, basically a solution reaction based approach as uh, water as the solvent of this uh, process. Okay, so hydrothermal synthesis refers to the synthesis by uh, chemical reactions of substance in a solid heated solution above ambient temperature and pressure. The hydrothermal synthesis refers to the heterogeneous reactions synthesizing inorganic materials in a uh, equals uh, media above ambient temperature and pressure. So, in this case, an equals uh, mixture of a precursor uh, is heated in a cell stainless steel autoclave. And also, the hydrothermal synthesis has a technique that uh, involves the growth of materials from aqueous solution at elevated temperature and pressure. So, in this method, is also particularly um, capable for the growth of a uh, large good quality crystal uh, while uh, maintaining control over the composition. Okay, so we have the crystallization vessels, uh, the apparatus used for hydrothermal synthesis. Okay, as you can see in figure 1, the actual image of autoclave and also the schematic diagram of autoclave in figure 2 okay so as you can see in the autoclave body it must uh, made of thick walled steel cylinder which uh, must withstand a high temperature and pressure and also the autoclave cup and the rod for locking the upper actor disc and the lower actor disc must made of uh, stainless steel to support the uh, reactor vessels inside the autoclave and also the material must be inert okay so no chemical activity reaction formation uh, with respect to the uh, solvent and also the design cell okay uh, many designs have been uh, developed for cells and the most uh, famous is the Bridgman seal and also we have the reactor vessels okay so the reactor vessels uh, may uh, the same shape as the autoclave and fit in the internal cavity. So, which um, occupy only the part of the autoclave interior. So, that reactor vessels um, may be made of uh, carbon uh, free iron, copper, silver, gold, platinum, titanium, glass, or quartz. Or Teflon so depending on the temperature and solution used. So, as you can see in figure one, uh, that uh, the aqua vessel, the white container, um, that's made of Teflon. So, it will operate to maximum of 240 degrees Celsius and the safe temperature applied to 200 degrees Celsius. And also, the reactor vessels has the capacity range of the volume so from 25 ml to 500 ml and the important part of the precursor solution in the uh, reactor vessels you can see in the figure 2 the volume of the uh, precursor solution must be uh, less than 65% as the volume of the vessels 
Okay, so uh, that's all the information about the equipment for uh, hydrothermal crystal growth. Okay, so we have the preparation process of the hydrothermal synthesis of a nanostructure. Okay, so can see in figure 3, uh, it's the diagram procedure to do the process, a step-by-step -step process. And we have the figure 4. Uh, it will be the result uh, serve as the goal of this uh, method. So, uh, I just uh, presenting the recent research results uh, under the hydrothermal synthesis of nanomaterials. So, I have just uh, put there the uh, website of the journal if you want to uh, uh, read more about this uh, experimental research topic. Okay, so let us do first the step-by-step -step process. Okay, so we have um, mixing. Okay, so in the hydrothermal process, it involves mixing of a precursor and proper agent into a solvent that enable to synthesize of a crystalline uh, nanostructure with the appropriate ratio. And okay, so for uh, step two, stirring. So we have to stir well the solution using the magnetic stir machine to stir it properly. And the step three, we have the hydrothermal treatment. Okay, so here uh, the procedure uh, include the transfer of the mixture into a sealed autoclave made of stainless steel lined with Teflon so, and uh, heated in an oven at a specific temperature and time. And we have the filtration and washing. So we have to filter the solution and wash with uh, distilled water. And after that, we have drying. Um, it will be under uh, air drying or uh, drying under the lamp. Okay, so we have the uh, structural analysis okay, by uh, using uh, the transmission electron microscopy. Okay, there are several techniques how to uh, characterize uh, the sizes of the crystal structure and the other physical properties of nanoparticles. Okay, so here um we have the um the analysis to using transmission electron microscopy uh, as you observe the results on the pictures under the process with the duration of uh, time uh, with the different uh, sizes of the structure okay so based on the results based on the okay so based on the results uh, the experimental procedure is repeated so, for 100 degrees Celsius of temperature for 2 hours and 125 degrees Celsius and 150 degrees Celsius of temperature, keeping it 2 hours. So, the duration of time is constant with different uh, temperature. So, okay, so as you observe the three yellow smiley, the, the other samples synthesize at a constant temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. For a reaction time of one hour, three hours, and five hours, so uh, different uh, time duration with constant uh, temperature. So it is observed that uh, the reaction parameter is very important in determining size and shape of the nanoparticles. So based on the uh, transmission electron microscopy analysis. Uh, prove that, that there are changes structure properties of a nanomaterials with respect to the changes in reaction of time and the temperature. Okay, okay so there are uh, microscopy uh, based techniques of the other uh, equipments to characterize uh, the nanoparticles. So we have the FTIR analysis, the XRD analysis. The scan electron microscopy analysis and the transmission electron microscopy. So, uh, this um, equipment uh, provide the information uh, on the sizes and the crystal structure of the uh, nanoparticles. Okay, so this is the references of the source information of this presentation. And that's all. Thank you for listening and God bless you all.